And you could ramp it up like you could touch the inside of the toilet and you can rub that on your face. Or it sounds gross, and if you're afraid of germs, the thought is downright terrifying. But this doctor says facing your fears head on could be the key to getting over them. First, we got to figure out kind of exactly where they're at. Dr. David Shanley is a psychologist who helps people fight their phobias. The first step is to assess exactly what they're fearing and what they're doing to avoid it then determine how much exposure to that fear a client can take. For example, a fear of dogs. If they take their fear head on and go to the dog park straight out, then they're going to save themselves a lot of time of working up step by step. Not everyone can go that far that fast, but Dr. Shanley says there has to be some level of exposure to make progress, not just to fears on the outside, but on the inside. Part of the exposure is actually flooding them to those scariest thoughts. He showed me how this would work if a person were afraid of elevators or tight spaces. It's more than just riding from floor to floor. More want them actually thinking all of the worst case scenarios so that they know that the next time they need to get in the elevator, they can do it whether they're having happy thoughts or negative thoughts. And when facing a fear of heights, the same principles apply. I would ask the person to, all right, can you climb up here? And then as they're climbing up, I would also be telling them, all right, now look down and think about that, wow, that's a long way down, and what if I fell? Dr. Shanley says these are all things you can try on your own, and repetition is key. Without it, their success rate of the treatment is a lot less likely. And don't be shy. Dr. Shanley says if you don't face your deepest, darkest fear, it could come back. Or can you touch the toilet and then you know, rub it on your hands? Something to keep in perspective. They don't have to like it. Uh, they don't have to enjoy this process, but we want the, it to not elicit this fear. When things get a little dirty. For the now, I'm Kumasi Aaron.